three, all of these three ladies here are heroes because each one of them sacrificed a family member. Phyllis's only son gave his life on 9-11 in order to save others. Dalit Hamdani's only son, my namesake, Salman, was a volunteer paramedic who gave his life in order to save other people in the towers. Valerie lost a nephew. A proud mother of a son, Salman Hamdani, a paramedic and an NYPD cadet who went down to help his fellow Americans did not turn the other way and run away, irrespective of their race, faith, or ethnicity, and gave the ultimate sacrifice. And I speak today, I stand before you as an American Muslim mother. I am a very proud American Muslim mother. I am a very proud American Muslim mother. I am a very proud American Muslim mother. The anti anti Muslims. The, and I'm very concerned about the anti Muslim sentiment taking over our nation. The scapegoating of American Muslims for the terrorist attacks by Al Qaeda. Foreign foreigners, not American foreigners, Al Qaeda, they attacked us and we are not responsible for it. People of all faith died that day. My son and daughter grew up in an interfaith, multicultural family in which we were all accepted and loved equally. I am Jewish and my husband Orlando is Christian. All of us have been enriched by each other's beliefs, customs, recipes, and rituals. My grandparents came from Eastern Europe for a better life, to our polyglot culture, where new waves of people had a tough time but eventually made it in this country, and it's still going on. I just want to close with saying, by saying that we mustn't be allowed, allow hate speech to intimidate us or to separate us. Unity is what will save this country and work and encourage peace. My name is Valerie Lucci Costa. Funny last name. It's Polish because my parents both came from Poland. My mother was an immigrant, my father's parents were immigrants. I am here talking to you because I am an American and I believe in America. I believe that America is for everyone. You are Americans, I am an American. I believe in you and I believe in America. We'll get past this.